Alright. They were playing Bioshock. And, um, you don't have to have the headphones on still, right? Yes, they're cool. Your headphones are just hooked up to the mic, so you're just gonna hear us talking while we talk. Okay. I'm just gonna unplug it now. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Does it sound any different? Well, yeah, there's no echo now. It's because it was the, the mic. Yeah. I'm just gonna take these off you. Oh uh, no. Have fun. Alright. so comfortable. I'm gonna just start from the beginning. This is the PC remaster that everyone shits on. They do? All over Steam. Everyone's fucking pissed. New game. Oh. What? Oh, I think you gotta do New Game Plus. What? I think you gotta do All right, it. all right. I wanna do New Game Plus just to see what I could do. See? that? But what's funny, though, is we, we talked about never... this previously where you were like, I wish you'd be able to keep all your Adam from the end of the game, and now you do. <laughs> it's just like, I hate, it pisses me off because in the final fight, not spoiling yet, but um, you get a shit ton of, you get a thousand, Adam? I think You get it, like yeah. a thousand, or it, it, 750 or a thousand. But you don't get to spend it because it goes to the credits. Yeah. So you get to start the new game with all your stuff, but you need to meet, reach the medical pavilion first. You have to beat the prologue. Oh, I mean, the prologue's it's nothing. I yeah, mean, the prologue. You have the, one of the scariest points of the beginning of the game I've ever seen. It scared the piss out of me when I was 10. So. Yeah, like how, how long ago was this made? 07, 08? That was 10 years ago. Yeah. We're just, just new game plus then. Uh, we're going to want it to have a bit brighter. No, no changes occurring. Oh. Oh! There's a new difficult. Was Survivor a thing before? I mean, if we're gonna play uh, on New Game Plus, I think Survivor... Yeah, I mean, be if you're gonna have all of your weapons, your plasmids, your gene tonics... Please select the save game that contains... Oh, you can even use stuff that you haven't even been in the game with. Mm. Ignore the... the... stuff. Oh shit, I didn't use the right save. Damn it! Ryan takes down the smuggling operation, Fontaine and Thugs killed in a furious shootout. Shit out? <laughs> <laughs> What's a shit out? A furious shit out? <laughs> <laughs> a fiery shit out? <laughs> oh shit, I gotta restart. Uh, I used the wrong fucking save. Well, Damn it. You know what Security Chief Sullivan always said? Something about Ryan. The eggs are in a scramble, so you better make some scrambled eggs. Mm hmm. All right, can I pause? Ah, uh, no, I mean, 1960 Mid Atlantic. Oh no, what's that? So I, I always wondered about this. They told me. So, son, did they send him out? Special. As far as you were born to, to be a sleeper agent, like in the real world. Spoilers. <laughs> <laughs> did they send him out in, as a sleeper agent in the they real world, born. like to infiltrate the real world, or? Oh, just for the sole fact that eventually he's gonna come back and we need him. Cause that that's the thing I never like I never got a clear answer from the game as many times as I played it. Is they just say, We built you, we made you, we sent you out. I think he was used to come back to Rapture to ensure uh, spoilers for a ten year old game. Uh <laughs> that Fontaine could be in charge. Okay. Oh, they're getting ready. They're gonna bark. Don't do it! <laughs> Don't you fucking do it! Alright, anyway, we're gonna have to quit and restart because I fucked up. Woo, new game plus! Woo, we're gonna turn that up. Survivor. Yeah, that one. Actually, I don't think there's a save after beating him, so it didn't really matter. Woo! Killed the furious shit out. <laughs> Su Chong, that's who uh, the twins from Infinite stole the research from and passed it off as themselves. Yeah. That's why it makes it seem like in the past they have more advanced stuff, but he, uh, they actually stole it from him because they were able to open up ripples in reality. Spoilers to another game that's about <laughs> six years old. <laughs> they told me. They told me. Son. Cigarettes are You're illegal. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> cigarettes, you can't smoke on this flight. Maybe the plane crashed because the whole fucking cabin's filled with smoke. Wow. <laughs> you know what? Everyone's smoking at the Ugh. same time. They were right. Would you kindly not open until six? Okay, if it was a real plane crash, though, it's really easy to land, or at least well, if it was slow a bomb, it, it depends on like what was like the, the package of bomb, the parcel bomb. I think so. Yeah. Damn, you're strong if you survive that. Oh, they didn't bark. That's cool. Uh, don't don't jinx it. They didn't bark yet. 
Did you ever play uh, Minerva's mm. Den from the second game? That I, DLC? Uh, I never got to. Okay, I never it did is, either. It is included in Bioshock 2 Remastered, oh. though, I think. Yeah. So we can try it All when right. we go to that. So how's the game that's 10 years old look? It looks very good. I mean, I did artificially enhance the graphics by using the NVIDIA stuff, but... And the water effects still, they oh, hold yeah. up. Top notch. The fire's a little eh. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's okay. It's a bit too yellow for my taste. Resident Evil 4 still has the best fire. Prove me wrong. <laughs> Seriously, that, that looks so good. Fire Resident Evil 4. Oh, have you seen uh, the Resident Evil 2 remaster? Yep. Stuff? It, I'm very excited for it. When, when, when is it? Next year? Uh, is that coming out? I think so, yeah. January or February. Which is very sad, but I will be getting it. There are infinite. Oh, I'm gonna just fucking make that oh joke. We're not there yet. We're not. We can't make that joke yet. I did like those DLCs for Infinite. Those were very fun. Oh yeah. Spoilers? No, there's no spoilers yet. But, you know. I'm, I actually didn't play the second part, but I just I know what happens because I think I ended up watching it on YouTube a bit. But at least the first part was very cool. Oh yeah. I think you actually run into Subject Delta in. Um, those DLCs. That's cool. No gods or kings, only man. I'm just gonna get into this random bath sphere. What's a fathom? I'm sure, you know what? I'm gonna Google it while this cutscene <laughs> plays. I'm sure it's just a nautical measurement. Yeah. Let's see. Fathom. A unit of length equal to six feet, chiefly used in reference to the depth of water. I am Andrew Ryan. So that was 60 feet. And I'm here fathoms. to ask you a question. Is a man not entitled to the sweat of his brow? Sure. No, says the man in Washington. It belongs to the poor. No, says the man in the Vatican. It belongs to God. No, says the man in Moscow. It belongs to everyone. I rejected those answers. Instead, I chose See, something different. I would say they're never going to explain I chose this. the impossible. But how does someone like you? I chose. Obviously, if you didn't know, Andrew Ryan is supposed to be a reference point for Howard Hughes, you know, other influential creators at that time who had a lot of money. How did he build essentially New York City underwater at that time? I think game theory uh, actually brought this up. I mean, he made it. He made a theory on how it's possible. Mm -hmm. I, he didn't make a theory on how he managed to do it. Yeah. He. Um, I think the second game in the museum it talks about Andrew Ryan building it. Okay. If you like, listen to all the museum things. But th the, apparently, the, the glass is all special py Pyrex hmm. because Pyrex gets stronger under more pressure. Oh. And since. The, the theorized location of where this is is the best place for it to work. The Mariana Trench? I think, yeah. Um, that's why the city functions. First time I uh, played the game, I tried to read all these, but you go faster and yeah, faster, so it's only through multiple playthroughs. I was like, oh, that's what it says. Yeah, this game... Very one of the most iconic intros to me. Oh yeah. Even as a kid, that was scared shitless from the Oh beginning. yes, very much so. I remember uh, the oh. way my the oh. way. They <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, we got a mail. We got a package coming. This is why you don't record in a room with a window. <laughs> I need that recording studio that Game Grumps have. Have you seen their office? Holy shit. It's like Disneyland. They've got a portal themed bathroom. Did it? Oh, you gotta be. Did it? Did it turn? What? Okay, I thought it turned the subtitles off. There's no subtitles. I don't think. Uh, she said, "Please don't hurt me." Blah 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 blah. blah. I have subtitles on. Oh, uh, that affects achievements apparently. What? But I'm playing a new game plus. Adjusting difficulty affects, affects achievements. achievements. So the, there's an achievement for it, but all right, he's dead. 
But oh, yeah, this scene scared me. Like when the demo for this game came out on the 360, I played it and I refused to leave. Like I just stopped playing. I'm like, nope. And then it wasn't until uh, Ty came over and we played together. I was like, all right, I'll leave. I I feel confident enough. See, the way it happened to me was uh, the way that my dad did Christmas is he didn't do any pretenses about Santa Claus. He would just say, spoiler alert, Santa Claus doesn't exist. So <laughs> the way my father would do it is, what do you want? And so he would just take us to the store and we'd tell him. And then if it was like a video game or something, he'd let us play it for a little while. And then he'd wrap it up, put it over the Christmas tree, and wait till Christmas. So that's what happened with this game is we went to Target, found it for $10, and I was like, this looks cool. And I was playing it in my room originally, got to this scene, and I was like, nope. And I went downstairs and played it in front of him because I couldn't play it by myself. All right, he wants me to pick up the service radio. Would you kindly? I love got a terrible accent. <laughs> what happened? What happened to the text? Why is it so see-through? Usually it's... Is it that adaptive stuff? Adaptive stuff. Yeah, the adaptive... Uh, it, it's an option in there. Maybe that's... Oh, not this. It's, um... No. Yeah, the adapt... No. I don't know why I thought adaptive training... <laughs> adaptive training? training. training. <laughs> that's an interesting option anyway. I won't leave you twisting in the wind. We're gonna need to draw her out of hiding. Damn, this game looks good. It really does. Too bad the third game, like, totally bankrupted them. <laughs> See, that's the sad thing, though, is even if they stay around, how could they have topped 1 and 2's Rapture and then Infinite? They did Bottom of the Sea and the, the Sky. The only things they really could have done is In Space, which is essentially prey, and Underground, but who wants to go Underground? This is a journey to the center of the Earth. Yeah, I mean, Underground is just a less cool version of Underwater. <laughs> that's Fallout. <laughs> that's, what, that's what it is. Yeah. I do not like that they made it so that you um you don't get a ton of cool weapons by the end of Bioshock Infinite. It's just like a, a first regular first person shooter. Yeah. I feel like that negatively impacted the Yeah, it just I mean for me with this game, like obviously it's very iconic for both me and you, but the first plasma you get is the electro. It was you know oh, and you can you can make arguments for which ones are the most practical and which ones do the most damage, but for me in this game, Electro Bow was always the biggest thing. And I always used it and I always spent the most Eve on it to upgrade it in every playthrough. And so that was how it was in Bioshock 2 and they made it even better. And then in Infinite they didn't give you it till a quarter of the game through and even then it wasn't even that good. It was really more of a stunner. Whereas in this game, in Bioshock 2, you can actually kill people with it. It's very effective. Yeah, it was kind of just a, a trap in Bioshock Infinite. Like, it was very disappointing. <laughs> That's what it, most of the plasmids were in that, where they just turned into traps. Yeah. yeah, it wasn't just... Like in Bioshock 2, I think, they had it said if you charged it, it did more damage. In 3, it just turns into some trap. And I never used that. I'm sure it's helpful and useful, but I just kind of spammed the um, the shield one yeah. and just used the bullets from that and killed people. That was the coolest one. That's my favorite thing. See, and that's, I think, what it comes down to is they tried to make it more mainstream, try to make it more of a first-person shooter. You didn't get these this unique weapons. You didn't get like these cool plasmids. It's really just, oh, story-wise, you have to have the story-wise for going to give it to you, and then that was the end of it. Bioshock 2 is sort of like dead, uh, Dark Souls 2. It was shit on because it wasn't made by the original creator, even though it was a pretty good attempt at making a Dark Souls game by someone who wasn't really the Dark Souls creator. And see, that's the thing. Is and they had some really cool concept that they never used. Yet. I, n I never had that issue with uh, Bioshock 2. I mean, obviously the story... Again, this is a 10-year-old game. If you don't know the story of it, you're missing out. And obviously you're seeing it here in this playthrough, but this has to be one of the best stories I've ever seen in a video game ever. Like, it is damn near flawless. Obviously there's some... And once you look back on it, you can nitpick it, but for the most part, it's pretty solid. It's got one of the best twists in all of cinematic anything. Books, TV shows, movies. Yeah, Inception. Move over. <laughs> so... Bioshock 2 obviously didn't have that. I mean, it tried to do that at the end, and it was very piss poor. But gameplay wise, superior in every way to the first game. It was you could more of a plasmids and guns. You could uh, you could actually upgrade the weapons and not use the workstations. They 
pretty much forced you to use in the first game. It just, it was a lot of different upgrades that I liked. Story-wise, of course, it's not, as I just got done sucking the first one's dick, it's yep. not as good, but it was enjoyable. And the I, gameplay was improved, but I the story was I never thought that I was missing out on anything like in the first one. I enjoyed myself, which is what I strive to do in any video game. So if you can entertain me, Dusty then I'm couch. not going to call your game shit. You know, objectively, it's bad, I'll always enjoy it. How did that come from that angle? No, that's a good it, it, it came from up there, but it came from like <laughs> I mean, it was coming from that. Was building. there a, an actual water current where it just sloops down? Man, this water looks good. Yeah, I would get the hell out of here, but I know that there's no time limit because they can't just kill you off. I mean, they they might, but not in this game. That looks so good. There's not many games like Subnautica. They do they, they do water good, but they have to because the entire game is underwater. <laughs> I think there's two people or one person here. It's uh, just kind of screwing around. It's one person is like fucking with you, and then the second person op comes through the door after it gets opened. Yeah, I think it's after I search that corpse they show up. Yeah, yeah, it's a spider splicer. Give the combo zap him and whack him. That Once doesn't do any him. damage on this difficulty. Like, you know, it kills people in one hit on, um, easy. And here, it does that. But, um, it's still pretty good. And then there's that asshole. Hey, buddy. Come on, bitch. Fight club. Fight club. Oh. Yeah, the game's being very generous at the beginning with the stuff. <laughs> of course, I mean, I've already completely broken the difficulty by having all my stuff from the end game. After I get to the medical plane. Here's the third guy. In fact, I don't even have to fight this guy. He'll just kill himself, I think. From being on fire. Yeah. Or he gets put out. I don't know. We're on a higher difficulty. We'll see. <laughs> oh, I thought I was gonna knock him out. Damn. That See, funny. they made a special animation to regenerate your plasma power, but they didn't make a special animation to wrap your arm up. Probably because it's like more you. important to get health faster. Because then you could probably die in the middle of the animation. Or the because the Eve one is more tactical. I suppose your logic is quite sound. I've got a family. I me need a family. Got them out of here, but the splices cut me off my hands. Just maybe. I know. Hey, buddy. You're the unluckiest man I've ever known. But you're the only hope I ever... Hick up! I'll you ever must train my wife and child again? Go to Neptune's bounty. Found my family. Please. What is Neptune's bounty? We just got here. Why does that look like Rob Sterling up there? <laughs> Fine liquors and tobaccos. We'll take that. We'll take that. And loving memory. Of uh, Winston Hoffner. I'm sure he was a developer in the game. Probably. This is happening before. Alright. Why aren't you here? Mac that ass. Why is it today and not then? I got her baby. They destroyed our bodies, our minds. We couldn't handle it. Yeah, I'm not gonna use the gun for a while. I need ammo. Yes, I would imagine I'm stick with this special in the board all the time. I'm good with the wrench. Most of the time. Yeah. My Adam. You don't fuck with Fontaine. Fontaine fucks with you. Oh, wait, no, that's later. No, I'm <laughs> <laughs> uh, remember those traps they put in the toilets if you drink the water, it electrocutes yeah. you? Hey, Brenda, you care to tell me why you had a hole in the size of Oh, yeah, this is talking about the. Oh, hey, buddy. Well, I'm out of places to run. Oh! Oh! Shit!
Alright, use Wait, no, no. I need to... I have a perfect opportunity to drink beer. Because I... I have no Eve, so I can't lose any. So I can drink. Oh no, that's this isn't Fallout. Sorry. <laughs> well, yeah, that's right. It was, <laughs> was either Fallout it. or Dead Rising. They did that. It was Fallout. Okay. Yeah, it was Fallout. Dead Rising 3. was the saving. Okay. Oh yeah, that's where I need to go. I don't want to go there yet. Yo, what's up? What was up? I think that song played at the beginning of Shawshank Redemption. You open up. You open up. He's downstairs. This guy scared the shit out of me in the demo. I saw that guy and I was like, nope. And then he just. See, there's a, there were very few parts in the game that really like scared me as much as the beginning. I would say the next part is when you get the to the medical pavilion and the lights go out and you, it's when you first get the shotgun and they're just Damn. rushing you and the lights only come on for like two seconds. Bitch. Oh, you gotta get oh, him in the water. gonna get out. Well, I can't really drink the beer now. Oh, what's this? Shit! I didn't mean to drink that. Damn it! <laughs> Trying to play the diary. Another New Year's. Another night alone. Oh fuck! She's got a gun. <laughs> Remember, kids, electricity. Oh, she just dies anyway. Oh, yeah, I think regardless of difficulty, if you hit someone with Damn. that in the water... Except you. Even if you're in the water, too, you won't ever die from it. You'll take... No, no, no you'll, you'll die you can, from it. You can take damage from it, but it won't insta kill you. It won't insta kill you? Okay. No. Same thing in Bioshock 2. I, I think the only enemies that don't insta die is the teleporting splicers and big daddies. Well, big daddies are obviously never going to die from anything in one shot. Unless you're playing on easy when you use the, a shit ton of trap harpoons <laughs> or whatever. Also, Sonic Boom is broken. Oh yeah, more people like to kill us. Woo! Mm. They didn't even have anything either, so I just wasted it. I got a, I got a buck. It's worth it. I think there's yeah, some cigarettes. Not really. Dude, you gotta get the pet bar. Pet bar is the best thing in the game. <laughs> it heals everything. Whoa. Another pet bar. Oh, you know that the probably scariest moment in Bioshock 2 was when you oh, went shit. to that uh, psychopath's um, showroom and you had different pictures of. Yeah, and then you like did the the, the the mannequin thing. Yeah. Where they like froze. Or was that was that a different one? There was this room where you went to this cyrogenic. Well, we'll we'll, we'll experience that obviously, <laughs> but there's the remember that part where later on there's a, this guy and you you go through this like little tunnel with like water, mm -hmm. and he like disappears. The lights go out. And then when you go back, the room freezes. Yeah. And you yeah, turn yeah, around yeah. and he's directly behind you. He's the one who gives you the camera. No, no. He he's a jump scare guy. He's just a random guy. Oh, okay. But I know you're that's that's a different guy. Okay. The the, I know the, the fish guy. Yeah. Oh right, I completely missed Hey look, it's a little thing. <laughs> I completely he freaking made me yeah, okay. He's just walking through I'm like, wait a second, I'm missing something. So yeah, they got the atom. Everybody wants us. Everybody needs us. So you want to know where the, the first developer reel is? Right there. Huh. Eh. She does it better. You know, Fuck the fact that God. she's able to take the butt of a revolver like that... Well, they are sort of, I think, considered like mortal or something. Like, they don't age anymore. Like, they have unique properties. He's just dead. That's mean in the game, in the second game. You're the best. I'm the best and technically worst, Big Daddy. Yep. Genetically wise, you were the greatest because you were defending. You were you the... were able to openly do whatever you want. No, well, yes, but it was also because you were defending the head researcher's daughter, so she created the best Big Daddy. I don't think Lamb made. Oh, hey. Well, I, she might not have actually made you, but I know that she did fuck with you because she put that whole oh yeah, she used thing the, in your head. She used the hypnosis thing on you. The 
the big daddy uh, plasma that we get in this game. That lets you control them. She use that to kill you. Like Ow! Ah. God! It's like real so life. strong! It's like getting shot will kill you! Jesus! Man, it is survivor difficulty. You just get your ass beat. Oh. I'm just gonna. I'm gonna leave you to your thing, my friend. Alright, okay. Got me. Ow! What the? Gotta make sure he's dead. They can always be pretending. Okay, he didn't even have anything. Just shove it up his ass then. Yeah, this is right before the medical pavilion. Okay. Well, well, yeah, because we want to go to Neptune's bounty and they're like, fuck you. And then... Those are the exact words they use. Yeah, fuck you, security alert. Woo. This suffers from the oblivion thing where jump is Y, <laughs> not A. <laughs> but you, you, you press A to damage. Oblivion made it work, though. Yeah, I mean, Oblivion, I, I played that game for so many hours on the Xbox. Oh, yeah. Gotta get the horse armor DLC, though. <laughs> Little did we know that that would become one of the least mean examples of microtransactions. Oh, God. Wow. I didn't mean to do that. In progress. Okay, I'm not in progress. Uh, ooh, health. Yeah, I'm gonna have to explore a lot to make sure. I mean, I probably won't have to after I get to the medical pavilion, but you know. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna need to. I don't remember her being in there. No. Definitely not gonna risk that. This is how I did this. I just waited for them to come out, yep. and then I just shocked them because I would die if I didn't do that. Can we go through the water? You Aww. bitch. What a tease. <laughs> I will kill you. Can't you upgrade the wrench? No, oh, but you get, you can put, uh, you get like, gene tonics gene that make you better. That's how it is in the, the second one. Except you can also upgrade the drill, so it becomes the most powerful thing in the game. Is that it? Oh, I think I just had to kill her. Oh shit, there's a the flamethrower turret. Don't shoot me. Oh shit. Can I, get it? Can I get their stuff quick? Go. <laughs> yeah, that scene was pretty, um, pretty cool when I first played it. I was like, oh shit. You know, 10 year old, 11 year old me. This scene was really cool oh, and yeah. scary. I was like, oh fuck, you're gonna break in, and then I just sat here and they never break in, so it was kinda just broke the moment. So tell me, friend, which one, one of the bitches sent you? The KGB the Wolf, the CIA Jackal. The, Jackal. The, the Romanian vampire. <laughs> yeah, I'll help you guys out. I'll help you guys out, alright? I, I weaken this side. Now you can break in. Then I can get more free stuff by killing you. See, I don't know if I misjerked it when I was younger, but I could have sworn I found an audio file or I found something that made me think that the person you're playing as, Jack, is Andrew Ryan's child that he never knew about. Because Andrew Ryan had a personal prostitute that he slept with, and then I thought that Atlas, aka Fontaine, uh, what, do you took think the baby, took you and uh, was going to use you as sort of like a poetic justice father or son killing father. I don't know. Oh, I, I, I'm not sure. It's been a while. But I do know that you were fucked with by uh, Montaigne. Yeah. Because he also made uh, Su Chong do whatever he wanted, correct? Oh, it just made me leave. I've never had that. I thought it. I didn't do that before. I was just like, wait, am I already supposed to be leaving? Aim for the head, you will do more damage. Yeah. Yeah. You can. Oh, that was loud. Oh, jeez. 
<laughs> oh, hey, buddy. Just special ammo. Special I got special ammo. ammo. Oh, look, my thing's upgraded. My wrench is garbage, though. All right, let's 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 kill everyone. <laughs> Man, Andrew Ryan's cool. He just gave me all my stuff. <laughs> Never used the flamethrower. It's actually pretty cool. It just, you know, it's kind of a waste of ammo and stuff for me. There's a crossbow in this game? Yeah. You thought it was just Bioshock 2 that had the harpoons, but nope. Granted, it has been a very long time since I played this. Alright, welcome! Oh. There it is. Value! <laughs> <laughs> We gotta hack. We gotta play my favorite. What? I didn't hack though. Do I have a gene tonic that auto hacks security bots? You might. I mean that's convenient, but we didn't get to play the the stupid flow chart. Jeez, I have so much Eve. This is just unfair, Patrick. Well, you worked. For I've it. already got a full wallet. Do you have all your guns fully upgraded? Um, I don't think I found every upgrade. I think I found, like, all but one. <laughs> okay, now I can hack. I'm gonna just buy it out. Woo! <laughs> so, you gotta get more electric buck. I might as well. Also, I get extra because I hacked it. So I can just come back for war. <laughs> Alright, let's, let's get out the shotgun and show everyone what they're doing. I can't carry any ammo. This is this is pretty sad. I, I need more shotgun shells, my ass, to carry around. I'm already carrying. I was right. That's what happened. Jack is the illegitimate son of Andrew Ryan. That's what I thought. And Jasmine Jolene, Ryan's mistress. While pregnant, Jolene suffered some financial difficulties and decided to sell Jack as an embryo to Dr. Bridget Tenenbaum on behalf of Frank Fontaine without consulting Ryan. Okay. And I don't think that Andrew Ryan ever found out, even after he told you to. Spoiler alert. Well, yeah. yeah. The most iconic moment in the game. Besides the... Oh, those killed themselves for me. Damn! 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 <laughs> he just kept shooting her! Hey, buddy. Welcome to my world. <laughs> oh, it's not as satisfying as Bioshock 2 where they, like, go into the wall. I'm gonna use the pistol because that that's where we're at right now. I don't have any anti-personnel rounds, unfortunately. Hey, hey, this is the gun from uh, <laughs> Hunt Showdown. <laughs> the fucking 18-shot revolver. Any minute. Any minute. Are you gonna, gonna come at me? Oh. Did they come from the front? Oh. She was just hiding. Dang! One shot! I don't remember it being that strong. Like, I know I have, like, the guns from the end of the game, but it only upgrades once. Ooh, I got another machine gun that I can't carry any more items. <laughs> Guess what? Guess what time it is. Oh, I don't have. I'm missing a plasmid. I don't have Sonic Boom. They took away my Sonic Boom. You'll probably have to buy it for five, Adam. <laughs> yeah. Because <laughs> it's the most broken DLC. Okay. So. Then burn. Wow, that does so much damage. Are we gonna be Colonel Mustang this playthrough? <laughs> yeah. Am I just gonna use this the entire time? Oh shit. So this is what the wiki says. Jack was born and grown by the scientist and fondly futuristic named Dr. Yi Su Chong and Bridget Tenenbaum. According to the auto diaries by Dr. Yi Su Chong, he was responsible for Jack's development. Jack by the age of one weighed 58 pounds and had the gross. Musculature of a fit 19 year old. Thanks a lot, 
Dr. Su Chong also reveals in another audio diary that he was responsible for the mind control imprinting that Frank Fontaine requested. Jack's similar genetic structure to Andrew Ryan meant he would be able to use the city's bathospheres that were unlocked and would be resurrected at Vita Chambers, and the automated security of Rapture would not be as effective against him. Sometime in 1958, before Fontaine faked his own death in a shootout with Chief of Security Sullivan's forces, Jack was smuggled out of Rapture in a bathosphere and sent to the surface as a sleeper agent, living out his pre-programmed life as Jack Wyndham, until Frank Fontaine activated him. And technically, Jack was born in 1956, or he was created in 1956, so by the time this game, chronologically speaking, he's only four years old, but they genetically altered him to be that of... Damn! 20 that's out. That's awesome. We're the so they we're made Captain the Captain America. Yes, they made the super soldier. <laughs> yeah, this scene was pretty scary to me. Oh yeah, he, this was. <laughs> but now I'm like, eh. I've seen too much. Oh, so you were right. It wasn't a bomb. Uh, he just forced it to crash land. Yeah. So he did hijack the plane. He probably just rushed the pilot and made them crash. No, my, I always hate when this happens. Every time I get here, my turret either breaks the turret or the turret breaks my turret. And my turret's destroyed. The really cool thing they added was remote hacking the first game and the second game. It also pissed off colorblind people. <laughs> oh yeah, because the way you hacked it. Damn it. Looking for a victim he can ravish for his grotesque amusement. Andrew Ryan really likes parasites. Do you think that's like his fetish? Probably. Oh, I, I just auto hack turrets. That's my my gene taunt. That's super useful. <laughs> Holy crap! No. Oh, okay. I was like, he was gonna shoot another turret. <laughs> Come on, you can beat him. You're you're a machine gun. Dead. Okay. Can I just break the entire pacing of the game though? I have plot specific plasmids. I could just skip entire segments of the game. I suppose you could. Wait. But that would take away from the viewers. Well, I'm, I'm just saying that. <laughs> oh, this is the part where the quest arrow flips out. Okay, so I can't go that way. I can go here, though. My plasmids cost a lot, that's for sure. Automatic hack tool, the thing I don't need. Well, you're going to find saves. I mean, I could just auto-hack most everything and buy out the things I can't. <laughs> Alright, Mr. Money. Steinman, I know medical pavilion is your map. But you might want to cogitate on this. Ocean water is colder than a witch's tip. You don't heat the pipes, the pipes freeze. Pipes freeze, pipes freeze. <laughs> then rats your legs. That was amazing. Oh my god, my accuracy is so good. I think if you play it, press the right thumbstick to aim first person. Oh shit. Um. Okay. <laughs> that was gonna explode. Alright. That's cool. I'm gonna just throw that over there. That was that was interesting. <laughs> oh, I can't auto hack. Oh, I think it's if I electrocute something. I'll just buy it out. We'll, we'll wait. Oh yes, yeah, the first gene tonic that I love. Need to incinerate this body. Of course, I get I get nothing this time because I already already got it. See, I never really used the gene tonics. I really was just plasmid and guns. I used, for my the playthrough that is prior to this, where the New Game Plus file came from, I spammed the, um, 
the gene tonics. So I have, so I had the ability to go invisible and a bunch of other stuff, which didn't seem to carry over for some reason. I assume there's a reason for that. Probably just have to find the first gene tonic. I mean, that was the first one. I didn't. It no, I mean, I, um, just have to find the, the first the bank, gene clinic. The, yeah, the. You have to get a little sister first before the game will let you use it. Okay. So what happens if I go over here? Nothing. It's not there. It was, it's just not there. So I just break the entire pacing of the game. That's a strange addition. Again, it's. I mean, it's cool though. Years old and you don't really need. If you played through it once, you shouldn't. I think it's a pretty unique feature. Oh yeah, I think it's. Cool. You don't. You're not locking away certain features because of pacing wise. You just allow them to play the game however they see fit. It's really nice how Deus Ex has that thing too, which is really odd because the developers. I mean, I know the devs themselves didn't do this, yeah. but, um, they, um, also there's no one to attack me because I didn't pick it up. Um, when they made Deus Ex Mankind Divided, not, not Human Revolution, mm -hmm. they added microtransactions that let you buy praxis, praxis, which broke the entire difficulty of the game. So you can just buy your way to victory, basically. And mm -hmm. the game has a new game plus, so there's no reason to do a new to, game plus to ever I mean, to ever buy them. Or if you didn't want to buy your way out, then what's the incentive of playing New Game yeah. Plus, other than seeing what alternate decisions could be? So, like, it seems like to whoever the publisher was, Square Enix, they, they just wanted to make a quick buck without caring about the balancing. Because the devs themselves were just like, yeah, I don't know why Square Enix wants us to do that. Ryan. So now that I've got Incinerate retroactively. Oh, I'm using armor piercing. Whoopsies. Well, I pierced right through that surgical mask. Oh, the shotgun. I think it was probably my favorite to use. Oh, shit. That's the rockets. Oh, I need to, I need to shock it. <laughs> Ow. Wow. Yeah, those will kill you in this one. Hey, buddy. What? Oh, he probably saw it, dude. <laughs> <laughs> I was just like, why are you shooting me? I just hacked you. Oh, I remember what I have to do. I have to, um... Oh. Wow. My accuracy is amazing. <laughs> okay, I was wrong. Andrew Ryan does know that you are great. Oh, oh, shit. Hey, it's a floor. Uh, Andrew Ryan does know that you are his son. He figures it out. Okay. <clears throat> they freaking just killed me so hard. Oh, hey, it's a shotgun. They, what? They retroactively revived you at the spot that they wanted you to go to. Pretty much. Oh, yeah, and you don't have to pick up the shotgun. Technically, you can leave it right here. Okay, but why would you not pick it up? Who wants to die? If I had the chameleon thing, I could just stand still and this section would never happen. I was wondering, because I was like, wait, if I had the chameleon at this point in the game, couldn't I just stand still and this entire sequence wouldn't make any sense? Did one of those upgrades make it so you could fire repeatedly? Yeah. You don't have to pump it. And it does more damage. It's really cool. And that was it. Yeah, that, that seems really scary if you're... Oh, yes, it is. <laughs> when you're 10 years old. And you don't have a shotgun that's already fully maxed. Only one shot each. That's not even enough for each person, game. <laughs> the German prison camp, they put me to work on genetics. You gotta put the Nazis in if you're talking about genetics. Hold on, hold that thought. Alright, we're good. Oh, you didn't give me one. Is that only Bioshock 2? All they can talk about is blue eyes and the shape Bullshit. of I know if you destroyed one, I gave you one for free. I thought I did. Jesus. <laughs> Back to telekinesis. The best turret. Moving objects to space, 
cannot stop spitting bullets, but can catch and throw faster than an object. <laughs> problem not with plasma, problem with reaction time. So I'm just getting an oh. idea for plasma. I didn't realize that till now. So you need to be able to react fast enough to use the plasma? Yes. So theoretically, you could just catch bullet. That's so I guess that's why that plasma's in Bioshock Infinite because they just improved upon what he did. They made it. They cut out the reaction time. They just made it. They, they made, made it more magnet. They made it yeah. magnetized and not necessarily just a field. So they used the attraction but made it based on uh, metal. Yeah. So that it could block bullets and stuff. So I guess if you were Captain America, you would use telekinesis and catch bullets. <laughs> Man, pa Captain America seems like he'd be OP if he got <laughs> if he went to Rapture. Oh yeah. He just has his shield and he just uses his other hand to shoot lightning bolts <laughs> at people. <laughs> hey Thor, who's the god of thunder? <laughs> just uh, all right, I'll actually hack this one. Oh wow, that one started right away. I guess it is hard. I don't think there's really any security hazards uh, at no, the I don't beginning. Pay. Yeah, that doesn't get added to it. Woo! Hacked. Um, okay, there's so There's really not much I can do. I have all this money. That's all this just, money, honey. Like the game gives me more money than I know what to do with, apparently. Um, oh, there's more people. I guess I'll progress the plot, because there's not much else to do, besides get the first little sister. There's someone else? I thought I heard someone. Oh, right, there's here. Oh, yeah, this place. It had the, the door with the passcode that I didn't know. And then I just had to look in the the painting or the funeral. Ah, dead. Stop drinking beer. Oh, jeez, jeez. These do so much damage now. All right, I'm gonna just hack that right behind me. I'm gonna buy it because I need to use my money. Whoa, stuff I don't need. Literally, all I did was spend money. <laughs> All right. Oh, this is, is this the room? Oh, this is it. This is the room. I didn't know it was this early. Here. Okay, there's a body floating down here. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, And then yeah. you go through yep. here. He's like, oh, shit. And he turns off the lights. And then he escapes through that. And then he goes out on the other side and you can kill him. Yeah, he goes out on the other side, but it's not just that. So when you go back... Oh, never mind. I'm thinking of a different one. I'm thinking of a different instance. I combine two of them together. But you know what I'm talking about, right? Yeah. Where's the code again? It's in here. Yeah, hey, buddy. Um. Oh, 0451. It's that number again! I didn't know they used 0451. Do you know that? Do you notice that? That number? No. 0451. They use it in almost every video game. Why? Deus Ex uses it too. You know, at the beginning of Deus Ex Human Revolution, he's like, you gotta get down to the lab, she's running, Jensen. And he's like, well, uh, you know the passcode to my door, right? And he's like, 0451. Every, it's like... <laughs> I'll take your word for it. I'm serious. Video games use that number a bunch. I, I, I don't know what it's a reference to. You could probably look it up. Just put 0451 in Google. I'm sure it'll pop up with some sort of trope. Ow. Alright, let's progress the plot. I think. Where, where do I progress the plot at, actually? That is a good question. Because the arrow is having a seizure. It's not there. Is it, is it here? Yeah, it's here. Oh yeah, because I need telekinesis. To be able to, um. Why do we have two eyes? 
Aw, oh, won't let me use it. It didn't blow up, though. Okay, we're good. I'm still reading about uh, Jack and all his references in the game. Past Spell Shark 1. Oh, not anymore, because just booty. <laughs> okay. Uh, um. Uh, are we going to be able to go through here? Um, oh, shit. 0451 is a key code found in many looking glass and iron storm games, including System Shock, Thief, System Shock 2, Bioshock, Dishonored, Deus Ex Franchise, and more. Many think it's a reference to Fahrenheit 451, but it was actually the key code to get into the looking glass offices in Cambridge. It has now spread and become one of the most defining things in immersive simulation games. See, I told you, I wasn't like, making no, that shit up. No, I didn't think you were. Oh, I just had never funny. noticed that before. Because, like, at first, as, like, throughout playing because it's in deus ex mankind divided as well no no you don't see me you don't see me i got you let me just auto hack that we're just we're just breaking the game right now Man, this is just unfair to Splicers. Like, Jack showed up being fucking four years old with, like, all the guns in the world. Mm. He's like American. <laughs> <laughs> like American. Aphrodite is walking the halls. At a right she angle. Like a scalpel. Because the sky she calls. Stein, I have what you're looking for. Just open your eyes. And when I see her, she cuts me into a thousand. All right, time to kill Stein. They're the same height. Wait, doesn't he like symmetry? His whole thing is cutting people into like right angles and shit. I guess he just too symmetrical. Yeah. Too many squares. <laughs> Oh, we didn't give a shit about Whoa, that. Oh, wow. Wow. Damn. I mean, he's still gonna die, but... Damn. Not a single reaction to my attacks. That doesn't even hurt him. Wow. So that's where they get into this game, the bosses. Well, he's still dead. And he gave me a shit ton of ammo for a gun I'm not using. <laughs> Probably should. I, I use the guns they give me ammo for, and then they give me ammo for a different gun. I'm working my way to the back side of Port Neptune myself. We'll get there soon enough. We'll get there soon enough, bloody. No, well, I can just, uh, I can do this one pretty easy. Oh, shoot, that's pretty cool. What? So, in Burial at Sea, the DLCs for Infinite? Yeah. Um, you see, you, uh, Elizabeth. You don't play as her in the first one, you oh, play yeah. as, the second one. um... You play as Booker. Yeah, you play as a different... Detective. Uh, yeah, Detective Booker. And then in the second part, you play as Elizabeth, because Booker's killed by Mike Ray. And... Spoilers. Spoilers. <laughs> <laughs> Everything spoilers. Just, 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 just imagine, just from now on, it's spoilers, okay? Just spoilers, spoilers. I think they already maybe have reached that point. So... In episode two, you're playing as Elizabeth, and you're just you're trying to rescue this uh, little girl who's now turned into a little sister uh, called Sally. And as you go through that DLC, you're trying to get to her, and eventually you encounter Atlas, and he has her, and he's like, "You need to get me out of whatever the specific location he was trapped in. He needs to get back into Rapture, and so you help him out. And then once he gets in there, he still doesn't help you." And he says, you need to get me the information for my ace in the hole from Dr. Su Chong. So you go to Su Chong's clinic because you say that you're his assistant. And Su Chong's killed by a big daddy. And you get, gather all the information about Jack, the character you're playing as in this game. 
So once you go and give it to him, uh, Atlas starts beating you to death. And every time he beats you, you have a vision. The first vision is you're on the plane that uh, Jack hi Jack hijacks. <laughs> and uh, you're about to like touch his shoulder to warn him not to do that when he brings the plane down. And you witness all these events happen. And one of the little sisters that Jack ends up saving is Sally, the chick that you were trying, or the little girl you were trying to save is Elizabeth. And so the last thing Elizabeth sees is she dies before Alice kills her is uh, a vision of Jack uh, coming from Rapture and having all the little sisters with him because he saved them all. That's the can. That's the can. Yeah. Sorry. It's interesting how, and constantly through Bioshock 2, they uh, symbolize him as a god, like all the splicers and stuff. I wonder what's happened to him. They constantly reference him. Uh, the brute splicers specifically say, uh, I don't want what happened to Andrew Ryan happen to me, so I'm not going to have any kids. <laughs> oh, that was terrible! <laughs> they, can't kill. they can't die unless you turn them into slugs. Also, no, usually no. it's almost always worth more to save them every game. Bioshock 2, I think, is the exception because there's a point where it stops becoming good to save them. Thank you. You get a you get a thing that gets you more from gathering. Yeah. That's when you start harvest harvesting them because then you have them gather twice, which gives you 40 extra more, and then you get double from harvesting. So it slightly beats out, I think, at the end of the game. Uh, but you don't get some of the rewards, so it kind of just is like moot. But it will get you slightly more, Adam. I think. Yeah. The, in this one, it's almost there's no reason at all to harvest because the rewards you get from that far outweigh. The game. And they give you there's exclusive gene uh, tonics that they they give you for rescuing them that you wouldn't get otherwise. All right, it's time to get my stuff back. Oh, wait. But I already. Wait, can I upgrade even farther? Can I just go all the way across the screen? I already have everything else, so you I can get it. Rage. Sure. I've <laughs> I can still put it there. I've never used it. Yeah, yeah. I'm sure it's useful against the big daddy. Yeah. Have them kill other people, but then you could just have the hypnotized big daddy you get from saving little sisters. Well, actually, I don't know if Enrage works on big daddy. Oh, that's what you use hypnotize big daddy. Yeah, Enrage is better for because you can have other enemies target big daddy specifically. You can use it as like ads. Yeah. Your health did go up, by the way. So yes, you can just get it Become higher. Become a god. I mean, I'm already. All right, I guess we can take out the other big daddy now, right? Yeah. Yep. Let's go kill him. There's Our only one in this area. There's one because we just saw the other one die. Okay. He should be in this area. He should just be walking around. Yeah. All right. See how quickly I can kill him. Uh, how fast do you think? I'm curious to see how much damage he can take. Okay, I'll just take her right now. Woo! Is that what you do on normal? I mean, this with is armor. Piercing. This is armor piercing with a fully upgraded. I mean, it also is the first one. They get harder. Oh! And he's dead. And now I'm at full money. I didn't take any damage, or any damage that I can see. Yeah. All right, where is she? Shit. Oh, she's always at the corpse. I'm gonna harvest. No! <laughs> no! 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 Yeah, in Bioshock 2, they made the little sisters like look a lot more human. Yeah. Because in this one, they look like monsters. Thank you. <laughs> look at those fucking eyes. Thank you. They're anime eyes. Oh! Get her! Quick! Where she escapes. I keep changing up my my, my weapon selection. <laughs> oh, can I pretend to be a big daddy? Come on out. Ready for dream time, Mr. Bubbles. Okay. You can only rescue or harvest the sister. Well, why can't I harvest them after rescuing them? Doesn't that get me double the profit? Because I guess you're using your own atom to purify them. That's why you get less. All right, all right. You gotta ruin my my hope for more money. So I wasn't supposed to go that way. I think I was just... Are you almost back to emergency access? I need to find the gene pilot station. Which, uh, right you... Now. That's the first thing you come across when you go to the next area. You know. Oh, he's already gone. 
Do, do, do. What a weird chamber edition. All right, we're reaching an hour. Oh no! So I'm gonna, I'm gonna pause and leave us off for part two after I kill this asshole. So that does more damage than any of their weapons. Okay, that one exploded. Okay. So yeah. I think we're pausing. All right. Poor Neptune now. It's gonna go great. Oh yeah.